Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about some concept art that was recently teased for a Jurassic World prequel story set in 1994. So just yesterday, Yaroslav Kazmina posted this teaser image up on his Instagram account. The image shows a group of engine soldiers caught in the middle of some kind of altercation between two giant animals, one of them being the Tyrannosaur, while the other remains just off frame to the right side of the image. The art in question comes complete with a Chapter 12 moniker printed over top and the words Jurassic World Regenesis written at the bottom. In case some of you didn't know already, Yaroslav is an artist that has worked extensively on Jurassic before in the past, specifically in a canon sense with the Dinosaur Protection Group and Extinction Now properties made to tie in to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now before we go any further, I think I need to make it clear that this project is not a live action movie. Originally, it was envisioned as an interactive motion comic that would come complete with accompanying CGI shorts. This CGI, by the way, was of a very high grade and some of it was even completed before the first iteration of this prequel was unfortunately canceled. You see, Jurassic World Regenesis was at one point in time a pitch slash proof and concept made to Universal after the first Jurassic World came out. I've talked about this before on the channel in the past. However, due to the limitations of technology surrounding the motion comics side of the story and the work these guys would soon have to begin on Fallen Kingdom, Regenesis got the axe pretty early in development. But apparently, there now seems to be a possibility that this prequel could make a comeback. Now behind the scenes, I will say that the team at Chaos Theorem has actually shared with me quite a lot of the story for Regenesis, and this piece of concept art is actually one of the things I got to see uh, around a year ago. It's actually a part of a larger image that extends all the way up above the Rex's head, revealing the other creature in question to the right side of the frame. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that the animal in question going up against the T-Rex isn't exactly easy to guess, and I'm going to bet most people won't be able to figure that out. It's not on Engine's list, and it's never been featured in any Jurassic Park live action material before, and it was actually written as a big surprise that takes place later on in the story. A story that, in my opinion, a lot of people would really love to see. Now, if interest in this prequel can be visibly seen on the internet, I've been told that this story may actually have a chance at revival and ideally get placed within canon as the story that takes place directly after the events of the original movie, which would eventually lead into the Lost World. Regenesis would follow Dr. Henry Wu as its main protagonist and detail the 1994 cleanup on Isla Nublar. The story would introduce and lay the groundwork for a lot of concepts and dinosaur details that we see featured later on in the sequels. And as such, production on this probably wouldn't start back up until Jurassic World Dominion has been released to the public and the current trilogy of films finish telling their own story. I think in the modern day, Regenesis probably wouldn't be told as a motion comic either. I've personally recommended either a graphic novel or some kind of CGI short film work that could help make it both visually pleasing as well as less complex. Maybe even a combination of both ideas to make it really cool. From what I saw of the actual rough storyboards and concept art that this prequel would have gone over, I legitimately believe that this would be a story fans everywhere would seriously love and get behind 100%. It's got a ton of stuff that people have said they've wanted to see in a Jurassic project for years, and it's pretty damn inventive in a lot of ways too. Focusing on Dr. Wu as a main character helps keep it enriched with classic lore that has yet to be fully explored, and the actual introductions of other characters like Peter Ludlow and Simon Mizrani are really fun to finally see done in canon as well. Now, of course, at this current moment in time, Regenesis is still on ice, and it isn't really going to be revisited until Dominion is finished up at the very least. However, in the meantime, one of the creators of Regenesis, Jack Anthony Ewens, has actually gone on to make a separate dinosaur animated series on his own that bears no relation to Jurassic Park. I actually helped on this show as a producer, and a link will be provided down in the description below if you'd like to learn more about that. It's basically what Regenesis turned into after it got cancelled. As for the official Jurassic Park prequel though, it's really up to you guys to make the call on whether or not this comes back. So I'd like to pass this whole thing onto all of you. Would you like to see the 1994 cleanup of Isla Nublar told as a prequel sometime down the line? 
Would you like to see it as a CGI project, a graphic novel, standard book form, or something else? What are your thoughts on this project, and would you be interested in seeing it explored in the future? If you are interested, I'd love to hear about it, and why. In the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.